time, as you experience it, has accelerated significantly over the last two years, and December 21, 2012, which is approaching rapidly, will bring the start of untold joy for humanity. As you have been told numerous times it's a done deal. There are no ifs, ands, or buts. Hold steady on your course by continuing to express and demonstrate love in action in every interaction, no matter what the situation, because that is what you incarnated to do, and you have been doing it with ever-increasing effectiveness as you have worked constantly to open your hearts more fully to God's love, which is always calling to you. You, like all humanity, do need to open your hearts, because by agreeing to incarnate and assist the awakening process you also agreed to experience the severe memory loss which is a major aspect of the illusion, and that involved the partial closing of your hearts to the ever-flowing stream of your father's love. No hearts are fully closed because to do so would completely shut out love, the life force, ending your existence, and that is impossible because you are the children of God immortal and eternal beings, forever alive and at one with him. Humans have starved themselves of love for eons, because the openings into their hearts have been enormously restricted and reduced while playing their painful games in the depths of the illusion. Many have entered the illusion during those eons to demonstrate love and to help you to awaken, but because you were so caught up in your unreal environment it has taken a long time for you to become aware enough to notice them and then respond positively to the assistance that they offered you. As a result, you have had plenty of time to cause much pain to one another and to build up large quantities of resentment and anger which you are now in the final stages of releasing permanently, so that you can disentangle yourselves from the unreality you built. The divine love field is flushing out the remaining characteristics of humanity that are in any way incompatible with love, ably assisted by you light holders and way showers who incarnated for this purpose as all have chosen to turn towards their spiritual origins as they seek escape from the fear and suffering in which they have been embroiled for so long. This collective change of heart has been slowly developing over the last 100 or so years, and has accelerated tremendously over the last two decades, leading you forwards towards your inevitable awakening. It has given us in the spiritual realms unparalleled joy to see you move so positively, and indeed courageously towards this momentous event because to do so you had to face and release the very realistic seeming fears that you had invented to form part of your imaginary environment. It involved learning to love and to trust one another again something that was lost when you engaged in your apparent separation from reality and your experiences within the illusion over countless eons made such openness and trust seem extremely counterintuitive. Nevertheless, some of you started to do just this, and the result has been a rippling outwards of love and trust that has impinged on all and that is leading you towards a most marvelous conclusion to your sojourn within non-reality. You have made amazing progress over these last few years progress that even astonished us in the spiritual realms, because the unloving attitudes and behaviors that you had been employing for so long seemed to be very heavily ingrained within you, and, at one stage, it appeared that you could not possibly become ready to awaken as soon as you, in fact, have. Congratulations are in order for your untiring efforts which have brought you to the very verge of awakening. Completion of that process is at hand. Your loving brother, Jesus.